Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In Angular 18, the Assets folder has been replaced by the Public folder. This change means any images, icons, or other static files we want to access directly should now go into the Public folder. In this video, you'll learn how to add a background image in Angular 18. Let's get started. I have already downloaded Angular 18, using the ng-new command. Click on the i button to watch the complete tutorial on how to install Angular 18. I have opened the project in Visual Studio Code. Open app.component.html file. First, remove this code. Add a div element. Now add a class, background-container. We will display the background image inside this div element. First, we need to add the background image inside this public folder. Open the folder where you have stored the background image and copy it into the public directory. Here is the background image which we will display in our app. Open app.component.css file. Add the .background-container class. Set the width to 100% and the height to 100vh. Now, set the background image using background image, url, slash background.jpg, to apply the background image from the public folder. Use background size, cover, to make the background image scale to cover the entire container without distorting its aspect ratio. Now set background position, center, to center the background image within the container. Set background repeat, no repeat, to prevent the background image from repeating across the container. If you open your browser, you should now see the background image displayed on the page. Let's remove the margin and padding. Open styles.css file. We will reset the margin and padding to zero for both the HTML and body elements, and set their height and width to 100%. If you go to your browser, you will see that the margin and padding have been removed. Now, instead of storing the images directly in the public directory, let's create an images folder inside the public directory and place the background image in it. Right-click on the public directory, create a folder named images, and place the background image inside it. Open app.component.css file and change the background image URL path to slash images slash background.jpg. Now, go to your browser, and you will see the background image displayed just as before. Next, let's add some text to appear on the background image. Open app.component.html file. Inside the div element, add an h1 tag with the text you want to display. Now add a p tag with the class subtext and the message you want to display. Open index.html file. In the head section, I have added the Google Fonts link to include the Roboto and Open Sans fonts for the text. Open app.component.css file. Set the text color to white, apply display, flex to center the content both vertically and horizontally, then use align items, center and flex direction, column to arrange the elements. Finally, set the font family to Roboto Sans Serif. Now, for the H1 tag, set the font family to Roboto, Sans Serif, set the font weight to 500, and adjust the font size to 2.5 rem.
Now, for the dot subtext class, set the font family to open sans, sans serif, set the margin top to 20 pixels, set the font size to 1.2 rem, and set the font weight to 400. If you go to your browser, you will see the text in the H1 and P tags displayed on the background image. Now, to display the image dynamically, let's store the background image path in a property called image path. Open app.component.ts file. Define the image path property of type string and assign the image path to it. Copy this property name. Open app.component.html file. Duplicate this code and comment out the first one. In the div element, we use Angular style binding to dynamically set the background image. The style.background image property is bound to the image path variable, which holds the URL of the background image. We then concatenate the image path with the URL function to apply the background image style. If we go to the browser, the background image is not displaying. Open developer tools. There is no error. Let's check our code. The file name is background.jpg. Open app.component.ts file. There is a typo in the file name. Let's fix it. If we go to the browser, the background image is now displaying. Let's add another background image called bg.jpg in the public folder and update the path in the image path variable to see if it is dynamically setting as the background image. Open the folder where you have stored the background image and copy it into the public directory. Here is the new image called bg.jpg. Now, let's update the file name to bg.jpg. If you check your browser now, the background image will be updated to the new image. Next, let's use the ng style directive to bind the image path and dynamically set the background image. Open app.component.html file. Duplicate this code and comment out the first one. Replace style.background image with ng style inside square brackets. Add curly braces, and inside them, add background dash image in single quotes. Now, cut this code and paste it here. If you hover over the code, you will see an error. Can't bind to ng style, since it isn't a known property of div. Open the app.component.ts file, add common module to the imports array, and import it to resolve the error. Open app.component.html file, and you will see that the error is now resolved. Now, go to your browser, and you will see the background image displayed just as before. Next, instead of using a local image, let's set the background image from an external source like Pexels. Here, I have opened an image from Pexels, which we'll use as the background image. Copy this image URL. Open app.component.ts file. Duplicate this code and comment out the first one. Replace the image path with the URL of the image you copied. Go to your browser, and you will see the image from Pexels set as the background image. Now, let's add a button so that when we click on it, the background image changes to another image. Open app.component.html file. Here, add a button with the text change background. Then add a click event to the button so that when the button is clicked, it triggers the change background image method to change the background image. Copy this method name. Open app.component.ts file. Comment out this code and uncomment the first one. Paste the method name.
Inside this method, set the image path property to the new image path, which will update the background image when the button is clicked. Now, let's add styles for the button. Open app.component.css file. Add the styles for the button. Go to your browser and you will see a button to change the background. Click on this button and the background image will be changed. You can see that the background image has been changed after clicking the button. In this video, we have learned how to set a background image in Angular 18, both from local assets and external sources like Pexels. We also added functionality to dynamically change the background image using a button click. This allows you to manage background images effectively in your Angular projects, enhancing the user interface. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.